guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be playing again with the thirsty palette from jeffree star and i'm only going to use three shades the first one is this gorgeous light brown color which i'm going to use to warm up my crease then i'm using this darker brown shade to darken it up even more then the light shade for all over the eyelid and i'm going to use this pop of blue for underneath the lower lash line so in total i'll be only using four shades of this palette but the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids and i'll be using the mac soft ochre paint vault my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer i don't think i have to explain that anymore i show it in all my videos but i'm just buffing this all over my eyelid and then i'm taking the shade parch and i'm going to apply this all over the eyelid just to set it all in place since this is a color that matches really well with my skin color then i'm taking this meat matte nude palette from the balm cosmetics and i'm going to use this white color and i always start with applying a light shade for underneath the brow bone so the thirsty palette doesn't really own or include a shade as light as this one so that's why i went in with the, the balm one now i'm going back in with the thirsty palette and taking this gorgeous light orangey brown color and i'm taking my zigmai e40 brush and i'm going to blend this all over my crease and i started with not too much product but then i packed on more product and i just felt like it was really easy to blend but i wasn't really sure um, if i went in with too much product that it would give me problems but it blended out really easily so if you recreate this look don't be afraid to go in with the dark colors they are really easy to blend in the crease which is really nice and this brush is included in my sigma brush uh, collection which i have linked down in the description bar then i'm going back in with that nude shade which i also used to set my whole eyelid and i'm just going to use my finger to pack this all over the eyelid just to create a sort of light um, I don't know how to explain, just to create a light eyelid basically. <laughs> then I'm taking the shade Stroke with my E25 brush from Sigma Beauty, pressing this in my outer V area and first just pressing to get most product in this area. And then when there's not that much product left anymore, I'm going to slowly blend it up a little bit more upwards towards my crease area. So the and those are the only shades that I'll be using on my eyelid. I wanted to keep it really simple so everyone can recreate this look. Then I'm taking this gorgeous light blue shade and I'm going to use a Morphe M506 brush and blend this right underneath the lower lash line. I just wanted to switch it up and use a pop of color underneath the lower lash line, which will give it more of a summer vibe and just to do something different. <laughs> Then I'm taking the shade Parched again and blend this underneath the lower lash line as well just to make the edges look a little bit more soft and just so it looks better blended. Then I'm taking the Fascinating Eye Pencil from MAC Cosmetics which is a simple white pencil and I'm just applying this in my waterline to brighten it all up. Now I'm taking the Cat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm creating a line above my lash line but only like keeping it at the inner part. Um, I'm doing this because my lashes have a black lash band and whenever I don't do this um, I feel like you can really clearly see the lash band at the inner corner area and it doesn't really connect with anything. So I just created that thin line so it connects with the lash band and I just feel like it looks a little bit better. I really hope that makes sense. For mascara I use the Tarte Cosmetic Light Scarma Lashes Mascara and then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this easy simple summer inspired eye makeup look don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye guys